Good morning. It's 553 and my journey continues. And this time we're doing something different. Before now, not only have I never experienced Lebanese food, to be honest, I never even had a desire to try it until now. That is right. So when uh, she told me she never tasted Lebanese food, I, I was pretty well shocked, basically. I thought we had to do something about this. We're going to take you to, well, we travel to Zina's Cafe. Zina says she loves her customers and loves feeding them even more. She learned to cook at home with her parents, and now it's a full-time job. She says Uticans enjoy Lebanese food because it's good for you. Uh, it's healthy and good. Nobody realizes how healthy. So no, you see her, no grease, all fresh stuff. So Lebanese food, no fry. Don and I didn't waste any time. We got right in the kitchen and started cooking. Our first lesson is to bully. A very popular and simple Lebanese salad tradition. Smaller. First, oh, we cut up fresh parsley. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's making me nervous. Look, look at away. We then add fresh mint, tomatoes, salt, scallion, fresh squeezed lemon, salt and pepper, and olive oil. So it's very nice and easy and very healthy. It is. It is. It's so easy that even I can do it. Yay! 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 Next, we learn how to make great leaves. We mix the rice and meat with mint, salt, lemon, and pepper. We then begin rolling the stuffing into the leaves. However, Don didn't quite get that concept. Don, yours is a little fatter than mine. Yeah, yours has to lose some weight. <laughs> Once cooked, the leaves were ready to eat and we were ready to taste. But first, Layla shows us how to properly eat great leaves. So put it like this. Okay. okay. And here. What? Mm. Get two grape leaves and a bowl like this, and you're all set to go. Oh. Ah. Okay. Our taste test continued with hummus, homemade yogurt, chicken and rice, and kibbe. Needless to say, my first Lebanese food experience left both Don and I with full stomachs and happy attitudes. <laughs> so good. Oh, it was so good. I love that. I it love was it. lots of fun. I mean, one of the things I like about Lebanese food, I just like, I like the whole process of eating it. I love the way that it's all like there on the table and you're dipping and you're spreading everything on yeah. and you're using your hands, like utensils unnecessary. Yeah, I, yeah, I, that I had to learn. <laughs> but you know, I like the tabbouleh because I remember she told me, she said, you can use it as an, app, you can eat it as an appetizer or even a main course. So, yeah. you know, and it's easy, it's quick. It takes like 10 minutes. And if you're a a, a mom with you know kids and you're busy and you're working I mean that's a quick meal for your kids and it's healthy yeah you know? exactly I mean you can see right here us trying to um, do all of this and um, having lots of fun doing it it is a good thing to do with family members for example um, by the way if you want to uh, check out Zena's you can do so by simply going to 607 Varick Street in Utica and they also have uh, a website too it's zenascafe.com. Zenascafe.com. There we are making that. Ah, oh, it was so good. <laughs> it was so fun. And they're so nice. They were so so uh, um, accommodating. They they fed us well, so they fed us well. And here with the um, with the tabbouleh, a lot of people you know make it differently as far as they don't garnish it with you know the lemons and stuff. So it's all up to you and how you yeah, want it exactly. to look. You can make it your own. Yeah. I was just, I was um, surprised in how much food that they brought out. I mean, you need, we're not even getting to all of the food that we actually uh, we ended up hummus. eating. Yeah. We did the hummus. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it was so, yummy. Yeah, it was great. And uh, she said, one thing that Layla said is that um, this is really what she loves to do. She yeah. loves feeding people. So tomorrow, tune in because tomorrow we're going to Brooks Barbecue in Oneonta. And uh, you can travel with me as I get in touch with my southern roots with some good old-fashioned barbecue. Bill.